Hey, what is up, y'all? What is T? What is going on? I'm your girl. Oh, no, y'all, listen. I'm still battling with this throat of mine, so please bear with me. Also, if you hear my daughters in the background, please know that they are safe. They are playing. They are good. They're straight. I see them. So, I wanted to get on here real quick to kind of windmill because I woke up this morning and I saw the pressure cooker did two videos. And both of them were dedicated to the sector. Pressure Cooker has left the sector. She left the sector over a month and a half ago. So the fact that she did a video, I kind of knew something was wrong. So instead of even watching the videos, I called her. And I was like, hey, I'm just checking up on you to make sure you're good. I didn't even say anything about YouTube, you know. And we were talking about usual stuff that we talk about. You know, our... Family life, our home life, our work life, all that stuff. And we kind of fell into the topic of YouTube and how she was basically being put out there and finger pointed as the one who called CPS on 5-8. And she told me that in her video, she said that she did not call. And also, she doesn't believe that anyone called. And I believe the same thing as well. And when I heard it, I believed it. So I just kind of came to come up on here and remind y'all of what we're dealing with, okay? Mother, spill it, boy, James Call Caldwell, whatever you choose to refer him as, Pops, whatever, has came on here and told y'all time and time again that Leah is Five Babes' co-host. She is. And y'all know damn well that every time something goes wrong in her life, she pulls Leah from out the cut and uses that little girl as a motherfucking shield. You hear me? So let's take a real good, deep look at this shit. Let's do some critical thinking. Now, the rumor has it that Rita, because Fi said this shit herself, she said that Rita called CPS. And the reason why she knows that is because CPS has informed her that Sarita has called Child Protective Services or DFS, whatever they call it in Chicago, on her. First of all, I want to say this. Those calls are confidential. Confidentiality is involved. It has to be for the safety of the person who is doing the reporting. They cannot inform you on who has given them a heads up on what is going on and why they would like to do a wellness check or what they're doing in the first place. They cannot do that by law, period. I don't give a fuck what state you're in. It's not happening. It's not happening. So I don't believe anybody called. And then, then too... No shade to Rita. Rita has been coming to us, recording her videos, either in a vehicle or outside of the residence that she's staying in. So, last year around this time, we were used to seeing Rita inside of her kitchen, recording in her kitchen. That's just what the fuck she did. That's how she got it in. But now, all of a sudden, there's been a change in things. There's been a shift. Clearly, Rita has had to move, which means that she has her own shit going on, her own issues that she needs to deal with, along with her children. So why the fuck would she call CPS on anybody else's? People in glass houses can't throw stones. And I don't think Rita did that shit. I don't think anybody did it. What I think it is, is that Fi wanted to take that heat off of Bama Girl. Because, honestly, in her mind, she didn't think the consequences and repercussions for cussing her out the way that she did would go on her like that. She has carried a hell of a burden since she's cussed that girl out. She's lost subscribers. Her dislikes just got lower than her likes. Like, literally, a couple of days ago. So, she's trying to clean it up. She's trying to backtrack. And more importantly, she's trying to deflect. Know what you're dealing with. Be smart about shit. And the crazy thing is about it, we've seen her do this more than once. She does this shit all the time. All the time. 
That child has been a walking bulletproof vest for months now. For months. Anytime there's something wrong, I'm a poor Leah. Anytime I need sympathy, I'm a poor Leah. Anytime I need payola, I'm a poor Leah. Anytime anybody coming for me and I can't handle that smoke and I can't handle that heat and when stop, drop, and roll is not the fuck working, I'm a poor Leah. How many times y'all seen her do this shit? How many more times is it going to take? Come on now, y'all. So instead of doing all this finger pointing, she did it, she did it, she did it. Nah, ain't nobody do it. I'm not falling for it. And if anybody on here had balls enough to call DFS on her ass and there was any proof that someone from YouTube or from our sector, our community did it, believe me, the bitch would have proof. This is bullshit.